Have you ever wondered which is better, petrol cars or electronic cars? This is a question that has been at the heart of many a debate amongst car enthusiasts and environmentalists alike. The automotive world is in a state of flux, with the traditional petrol-fueled vehicles we've grown accustomed to being challenged by the new kid on the block, electronic cars. It's a fascinating time to be a car enthusiast, as the landscape is dramatically changing. The hum of a petrol engine, the smell of gasoline and the thrill of revving up are all synonymous with traditional motoring. Petrol cars have held the reins of the automotive industry for over a century, and they've done so with good reason. They are reliable, powerful, and offer a visceral driving experience that many of us love. But now, we're seeing a shift. Electronic cars are no longer the quirky niche vehicles they once were. They are stepping into the limelight, and they're doing so with a lot of promise. Electronic cars are sleek, silent, and sustainable, offering an entirely different kind of driving experience. They are challenging the status quo, demanding we rethink what we want from our vehicles. However, as with any great debate, there are two sides to the story. Both petrol and electronic cars come with their own set of advantages and disadvantages. It's not as simple as declaring one the outright winner. The truth is, what might be a pro for one person could be a con for another. Our preferences, needs and values all play a significant role in determining which type of vehicle we lean towards. So, are you ready for a deep dive? Because that's exactly what we're about to embark on. We're going to explore the pros and cons of both petrol and electronic cars. We're going to delve into the nitty-gritty, the good, the bad and the ugly of both sides of this great debate. So buckle up and let's get started. In this video, we will delve into the pros and cons of both petrol and electronic cars. First, let's explore the advantages of petrol cars. Petrol cars, also known as gasoline vehicles, have been a part of our lives for over a century. They have evolved dramatically over the years, and despite the rise of electric cars, petrol cars still hold significant advantages. One of the most notable benefits of petrol cars is their range. With a full tank, most petrol cars can travel between 300 to 600 miles. A long journey? No problem. You can drive for hours without worrying about needing to refuel. But when you do need to refuel, it's a quick and easy process. You pull into a petrol station, fill up your tank, and you're back on the road in a matter of minutes. This convenience is a major advantage of petrol cars. The infrastructure for petrol cars is well established and widespread. No matter where you are, you're likely to find a petrol station nearby. Then there's the matter of speed. Petrol cars, particularly those with larger engines, are known for their power and speed. They can accelerate quickly, making them a favorite among car enthusiasts and anyone who enjoys the thrill of a powerful drive. It's also worth noting that while petrol cars may not be as eco-friendly as their electric counterparts, many manufacturers are making strides in this area. Advances in technology mean that modern petrol cars are more fuel-efficient and eco-friendly than ever before. In addition, petrol cars often come with a lower upfront cost compared to electric cars. This makes them a more accessible option for many people, especially those on a tighter budget. Lastly, let's not forget the classic car charm that comes with petrol cars. The purr of the engine, the smell of the petrol, these are things that many car lovers simply can't resist. So, petrol cars offer range, speed and convenience, but what about electronic cars? Now we turn our attention to the advantages of electronic cars. When we talk about the benefits of electronic cars, the first thing that springs to mind is their environmental friendliness. With the world becoming increasingly conscious about the impacts of climate change, electronic cars offer a sustainable solution. They produce zero tailpipe emissions, reducing their carbon footprint and contributing less to air pollution. This is a significant benefit over petrol cars, which are known for their high emissions and environmental impact. In addition to being environmentally friendly, Electronic cars also have lower operating costs. While the initial purchase price may be higher, the cost of running an electric car is significantly lower. Electricity is cheaper than petrol and diesel, making it less expensive to refuel. There's also the fact that electric cars require less maintenance. With fewer moving parts than traditional petrol cars, there's less that can go wrong, which can save owners a tidy sum in the long run. But it's not all about the environment and cost savings. Electronic cars also come with a host of technological advancements that set them apart from their petrol counterparts. Many boast cutting-edge features such as regenerative braking, which converts kinetic energy back into usable electricity. 
extending the car's range. They also often come with advanced infotainment systems, automatic software updates, and sophisticated driver assist technologies. Some even have the capability for autonomous driving, a feature that's still in its infancy in petrol cars. It's clear that electronic cars offer a multitude of benefits, from their contribution to a cleaner environment, to lower operating costs, and superior technological features. They represent a new era in the automotive industry, one that is sustainable, cost-effective and technologically advanced. Therefore, electronic cars are not just eco-friendly, but also cost-effective and technologically advanced. However, both petrol and electronic cars have their drawbacks. Let's start with petrol cars. One of the most significant drawbacks is, of course, their environmental impact. Petrol cars burn fossil fuels, releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This contributes to global warming, an issue that we, as a global community, are grappling with. Moreover, petrol cars are also responsible for air pollution, emitting harmful substances like nitrogen oxides and particulate matter, which can be detrimental to both human health and the wider environment. The cost of fuel is another downside. While prices can fluctuate, the fact remains that petrol is a significant ongoing cost. Unlike electronic cars, which can be charged at home, petrol cars require regular visits to the petrol station, which can be both costly and time-consuming. Now let's shift gears and take a look at electronic cars. While they're certainly greener, they're not without their own set of challenges. One of the biggest hurdles for many potential buyers is the upfront cost. Electronic cars tend to be more expensive than their petrol counterparts, which can be a deterrent for those on a budget. While the cost of owning an electric car may be lower over the long term, the initial price tag can still be quite steep. Another drawback of electronic cars is the current lack of charging infrastructure. While it's improving, it's still not as widespread or as convenient as petrol stations. This can make long-distance travel in an electronic car more challenging. Plus, charging an electronic car takes longer than filling up a petrol tank, which can be an inconvenience for those in a rush. As we can see, both petrol and electronic cars have their own set of challenges. But it's also important to remember that these are issues that can be addressed, and indeed are being addressed. As technology advances and our understanding of the environment improves, the future of both petrol and electronic cars is sure to evolve. Let's sum up what we've learned so far. We've delved into the world of petrol and electronic cars, exploring the pros and cons of each. On one hand, petrol cars offer us the familiar comfort of combustion engines, their wide availability, and their immediate power output. On the other hand, electronic cars provide a breath of fresh air with their zero-emission drives, cost-effective energy consumption, and the promise of a sustainable future. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Petrol cars, with their high carbon footprint and increasing fuel costs, pose significant challenges. Meanwhile, electronic cars grapple with issues of battery life, charging infrastructure and higher upfront costs. So where does that leave us? Well, it's not a clear-cut answer. Each vehicle type has its strengths and weaknesses. It's about balancing the scales, assessing your lifestyle, and determining what works best for you. Ultimately, the choice between petrol and electronic cars depends on your specific needs and priorities. So which is better, petrol cars or electronic cars? The answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. It's like asking if apples are better than oranges. They're different, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. Petrol cars may be the go-to choice for those who appreciate speed, power, and a more traditional driving experience. They're also great for long-distance road trips thanks to a well-established network of petrol stations. On the other hand, electronic cars offer a greener, more sustainable option. They're quieter, cheaper to run in the long term, and bring a whole new level of innovation to the table. Plus, with the increasing number of charging stations, their practicality is on the rise. But ultimately, the best choice depends on you. It's about what you value most. Is it speed and power, cost-effectiveness, or environmental impact? Remember, the best car for you is the one that meets your needs and fits your lifestyle. Thank you for watching this video on the pros and cons of petrol and electronic cars. If you've enjoyed our journey into the world of automobiles, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you found this information useful and share our video with your friends who might also be interested. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the petrol versus electronic car debate, so drop a comment below. We look forward to hearing your thoughts on this debate. Until next time, drive safe.